It feels like forever, but I finally went thrifting again at my favorite place to thrift, and I cannot wait to share my haul with you. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I'm a part-time reseller, which means that I go to places like pop-up consignment sales and thrift stores, and I find things, mainly clothing and shoes and accessories, for as cheap as I can so that I can resell those items online on various platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. And while I typically do a lot of thrift haul videos, which is where I show you everything that I picked up to sell and I tell you a little bit about each item, I have not been doing that for a long time because I have so much inventory sitting at home. I still have a lot of inventory sitting at home, but there was a pop-up consignment sale that came through town. It is one of my favorite things to shop in terms of finding really good inventory for my reselling business because I always find really great stuff. And so I thought I'd share with you what I got once I broke my no thrifting you know, season of life, and I'm really excited. It's just been so long, so it's really exciting to be doing this with you. Um, I apologize for a couple things. One, my eye is still a little messed up, so I've still got the glasses. Um, the lighting is really weird because it's like kind of early in the day. I have um, another appointment at the eye doctor, so I'm doing this before that, before I go into work. I took a half day, but the lighting is just weird, so I apologize. We're gonna hopefully, you know, get through this without any hiccups, and my voice is a little jacked up too. So lots of things working against us still excited to show you what I got and we're gonna start with something that is either just so amazing or the biggest disappointment of my life like I like of a really long time um, so if you enjoy a good thrift haul if you want to see what I got don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're brand new to my channel and if you are brand new hi welcome thank you so much for hanging out but let's get into it these are a pair of beautiful boots they stood out to me right away and I picked them up to look at them. They felt really good. Like the leather is really, really soft. There was nothing on the bottom in terms of like brand or anything. Um, it did say 37 and there, I don't know. But then when I looked on the inside and I'm most likely not gonna be able to show you because it's, yeah, it's, I don't know that you'll be able to see. There is a heat stamp on the inside and it says Valentino. And like I said, you're probably not going to be able to see it. But it says Valentino. I did a quick Google search. I looked up, you know, Valentino studded boots, something along those lines. And immediately this exact shoe came up and they are the rock stud boots. Um, so I was insanely excited because I saw some were listed for like eight, nine hundred dollars. I saw, you know, it was just crazy. However, when I got them home and did a little bit more research, because I just like threw them in my car after seeing that, okay, they match this description of like a really popular shoe. I think, I mean, it's a little bit older of a style. I think it's from like 2014 or something. Um, and I was like, yes. And like, like I said, the leather felt really good. So I threw them in my cart or not cart, Ikea bag. Cause that's what you use to shop. And I didn't really think anything of it. They cost $25 and it was the first day so nothing was like half off or anything it was just the price that things were marked but i got them because i was really excited and i was in a huge hurry i actually only had like an hour to shop so i did not really have time to sit there and like look up comps very much or like look through all i don't know i just didn't have a lot of time to do my due diligence so I got them home, was really excited, but like started to do more research and here are the reasons why I think these are fake. And if you are good at authenticating luxury items, let me know what you think too, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. So um, for one, when I was looking online, all of the style of the shoe, they had the bottom of the shoe was just like one piece versus you can see here, it's like two pieces. Like this is kind of more like a rubbery piece and then this is like... I mean, I think it's leather, but I don't even know. But this was like all one piece. And right here, it would say Valentino on all of those shoes. Um, also, like when I was looking online, none of the other shoes of this style that were listed had Valentino heat stamped on the inside. It was like a black label that would say Valentino. And so for those reasons, I'm pretty sure this is a fake. And if it is a fake, I am not supposed to sell it because you're not supposed to sell fake counterfeit uh, luxury items. So a bust, maybe most likely 90% a bust, um, you know, $25 in my education on luxury items. I just 
don't know very much about luxury brands, items, authenticating them. I get a lot of DMs on Instagram from people being like, hey, are these real? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm the worst person to ask, like literally ask anyone else but me. And you can see that I'm not joking. Like I genuinely don't know what's going on with that kind of stuff. So I will see what happens, but I'm pretty sure those are fake and I'm just going to have to get rid of them. So um, I'll show you a couple more bags of stuff that I got the first day. I'm pretty picky about what I'm going to get that first day when I have to pay full price. Typically, I'll only get it if I'm like scared someone else is going to get it if I don't get it first. Or if like um, they've indicated on their tag, the consigner has indicated that they don't want to have the item go half off on half off day. Then it's like I may as well just get it on that full price day anyway if it's a good piece because it's not like it's going to go on sale. So um, this item... I've heard of this brand and I know that this is for Target. So the brand is Rixo, which I think is like a decent brand. Um, and this is for Target, which obviously means the resale value of it is even less. But I picked it up for a few reasons. One, it's a size 4X. Two, it is, I think it's new with tags. I thought it was new with tags. Maybe it's not new with tags. I could have sworn. Okay, but it's a 4X and... It's a really beautiful, like, summery dress, so it's kind of hard to show, but at the top, there's this, like, ruffled layer with this, like, orange and white, and then the rest of it is polka dotted, and it's just beautiful. Now, I cannot remember exactly how much I paid for each piece because they don't leave the tag on. They have to take it off so that they can calculate how much each consigner earned at the end of the sale. I don't remember how much I paid exactly and I don't remember what my average cost of goods for the first day is for all the stuff that I'm going to show you but I will put that right here but I'm pretty sure that when I looked up comps very quickly at the store that was comping around like $40. Um, <laughs> this is for me. I'm actually taking my kids to Disney for the first time this year. We're going to Orlando and I thought this would be a really cute thing to wear. It's like a swimsuit cover but I figure I could wear like I don't know. I could wear stuff underneath it and make it work as a dress while we're in Disney. I'll make it work, but I just thought it was so cute. I do remember that this was listed for full price for two dollars. So I was like, "Yep, I'll just, I'll just get that." And I don't like foresee myself wearing it too often after the fact. So at that point, I could just sell it if I wanted. Um, this was a pair of Miss Me jeans that I got because they were just priced well. They're the boyfriend capri. They're in a size 27. Um, you've probably seen this tag before. Miss Me does still sell pretty well, usually around that like $35 range. I mean, the cropped maybe won't be that amazing. But the reason I picked it up is because Miss Me is always priced so high at my local thrift stores. And so... Um, the fact that I was able to get these for a really good price, I was like, okay, I'll just get them. And like I said, I'll probably price them for around $35. They do have a little bit of the bling on the back, not as much as some Miss Me jeans do. Although, whenever there's like a ton of sequins and a ton of like whatever on the back of Miss Me or, uh, what's the other one? There's another brand like Miss Me. That I, oh, like Rock Revival. Whenever there's like a ton of stuff on the back, like sequins and beads, I always get really scared because most likely once you get that piece home, you're going to notice that there are sequins or beads or little things missing. Um, so when it's just a little bit of the bling, just a few rhinestones, typically everything is in place or it's easier to spot if something is missing. This is a joie piece. I did pay a little bit for this. I mean, I paid up a little bit, but I kind of think that this is going to be for me. It is an extra small. Um, it's just pretty. Also, I have had luck sending in Joie to the Real Real and it's selling there. It doesn't sell for a ton, but like, look at these sleeves. Ugh, it's just so like romantic. I, yeah, this is just mine. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. So I'll wear that for, you know, a few seasons and then when I'm sick of it, or if I just don't like it anymore, if it, or if it doesn't fit me very well, I will just um, sell it. I'll list it. Okay, so I did get a few pairs of shoes, um, just a couple on the first day, and then a few more um, on the half-off day. So, you know, if you've been watching my channel, especially my What Sold videos, I do a What Sold video basically every week, and I will link my playlist down below. But I've been sharing in my What Sold videos that dance goes have been selling more, but 
like shoes in general. So dance goes, echoes. I don't know. They've been falling apart on buyers lately. So they'll open a case because they'll be like, I only wore this once since I purchased it from the seller and it fell apart on me. And they'll, you know, submit pictures showing that that indeed was the case. Um, yet here I am buying more dance goes. So this is what it looks like, the brand and, or the label, I should say. This is not a typical look for a Dansko shoe. Typically, Danskos are known for their clogs, and this is like a slide on Mary Jane, but it's really cute. Um, I like the metallic silver, and I think that they are definitely cuter than like the clogs, in my opinion. There is a little bit of like creasing and cracking on the leather, but it almost kind of adds to the look. I think it's okay. And there are a couple little um, scuffs, as you can see. But these are in a European size 38. They're in really great condition. I think that um, they'll probably sell for at least 35. And what you want to do with Danskos is literally do what I'm doing right now is like bend them. And if they've been um, stored improperly or like, you know, just if the material in here is going to deteriorate typically you can figure that out by doing a good old like test by squeezing it and I feel like this is where the bend of the shoe typically is and that's why there is like some creasing there like I said but the good news is I don't think that they're gonna fall apart anytime soon that's the hope right um so yeah probably price those for around 35 dollars I'm gonna put these here um this beauty what are you cute oh this is it's like been at least not a whole week but it's been almost a week since I um, purchased these pieces so I kind of don't even remember what I have in these bags so this is anthropology and it's postmark I believe is the brand because it's like on a little envelope I think that this label is the cutest thing I've ever seen um, I love this uh, house brand by anthropology just for the label but it's a size medium and it's a dress. It's like a st uh, striped cap sleeve dress. It's got like a big v-neck. It's got like a tie with a little tiny keyhole type situation in the front. And it's just like a A-line dress with like a chevron print. thought that was really cute. Um, I think it was priced really low. I love this like braided uh, tie in the front and it's got these little beads at the end. But um, probably list that for around $35 and see what happens. It's not going to be like a huge sale. Um... Okay, I don't know what this is, but I thought it was beautiful. Okay, I did look it up. So the brand is John Mark. I want to say this was priced at like $7, and comps were pretty good on it, especially on eBay. Like, I can't remember right now. I'll do a little bit more research and let you know down here. But I just thought it was a stunning piece, and it's not like a piece that I would wear. Like, I think a lot of things are beautiful, but it's not necessarily what I would put on my body. But I could see someone totally digging this. So it is like a button-up shirt, and I'm pretty sure it's 100% linen. It's 100% linen. And on the shirt itself, it's got all this beautiful floral embroidery. Like, very honestly, like, kind of reminiscent of, like, Johnny was um, in terms of just, like, how intricate and elaborate it is. And then on the back, just some really beautiful, like, it's like tie-dye, essentially. And then there's this panel of, like, leopard print on the bottom or something. That, to me, is a little, a little unnecessary. But you can just see this beautiful kind of, like, yeah, like, tie-dye print. It's very springy. Some more of the embroidered flowers on the back. I just thought it was beautiful and really well made. This is, let me take off the little consigner tag so that you can see the label. Um, it's in a size medium. This is what the tag looks like. It says John Mark. I don't know. And I think it's just perfect for the season. Um, this sale that I went to pops up twice a year. And one is like the spring sale. And one is the fall sale. So they really try to encourage you to only sell things for like the spring and summer for the spring sale. And then vice versa for the fall sale. So um, I like it because when you go, especially for the... Uh, purpose of reselling they have things that are you know seasonal and things that you can list right now versus having to wait on them which I love um, this is a pair of shoes by Sam Edelman they are you know just kind of those slide on loafers which I love I think they're just so classy um, there is a little bit of wear in that there's kind of this like 
buckle on the front if it'll focus and you can see kind of where like the end pieces have dug into the leather a little bit there's just like a little bit of wear but other than that they're in really good shape um, these are in a six and a half and Sam Edelman does sell pretty well sometimes I have to sit on it for a little bit but I think realistically these will sell for at least $25 that's the hope so there's those all right so now we're going to get into the stuff that I purchased on half off day so um, if you can sign with them or if you're a teacher, then you get to go um, to like their half off pre-sale day. They also have like a pre-sale for their full price items, which is what I went to when I got this stuff. Um, I had to go a little later than like right when they open because of work, but I made it work and I did consign for the first time this year. I don't know what my results were yet. I feel like I didn't do super hot, but we'll see. They don't like keep track of what you sold as a sale is going on because they literally do everything by hand. You know, they have those like little handwritten tags that we have to fill out. Um, but I do have a video where I showed myself like preparing for the consignment sale and I'll, you know, kind of document the whole journey and it'll end with sharing with you how much I earned and if it was worth it. But at least they did get to go to the, um, you know, pre-sales, although I would have been able to go to those anyway because I'm a teacher, but yeah. So here are the things that I paid half price for and some of them it was like I went in on the half off pre-sale being like, I got to get those things because I'd seen them at the full sale sale but just didn't want to pay full price items and again here i'll put what my average cost of goods for these pieces uh was because it's probably different than what i paid for the full price day so these are a pair of you guys i still don't know how to say and i'm pretty sure people have explained it to me in the comments but it's zia zaya don't know this is a brand like cabby where you cannot buy this in like a store you have to buy it off of someone who sells Zaya or Zia. Um, but it's a pretty popular brand and I always have really good luck with it. It sells really quickly. These are a pair of joggers with like an ankle zip. It's got an elastic waist. They're in like a really fun, bright, uh, red color. This is what the, what's it called? This is what like the logo looks like. And there is a little bit of wear on the back. You can see there's like, I don't know if you can see, there's just like a few little uh, like poles. I don't know if you want to call it that. Regardless, I think I can still sell these for around like $35. I probably paid like seven ish, but again, I cannot remember because they don't leave the tags on. Um, this is by the brand Aviva, which is Lululemon's children line. And it's not worth that much, but I got this because I was like, okay, it does. Okay, there we go. I got it because I was like, maybe I can wear it. <laughs> um, we'll see. And if I cannot, then I might just save it for my daughter because very soon she'll be in this size. And then if she doesn't want to wear it, then I'll sell it for like $8. But I think we'll get some use out of it first. This is Soft Surroundings. It's like new without tags because it does have the little baggie with the extra buttons um, still attached. Soft Surroundings, size medium. I do love this brand so much. And I thought this was just a beautiful piece. It is 100% linen. It's very wrinkled right now because <laughs> it's just been crumpled up in this bag. It is um, striped like a really just springy yellow color. And like classic while still being comfortable and just perfect for the season. So I'll probably list that at least around 35. This is a pair of Crocs. They kind of look like those dance goes I showed you earlier, but they are Crocs as it says on the little strappity strap. And they are like slip on crisscross Mary Janes. I don't know if you'd call these Mary Janes. So these like little straps are made of the typical croc material. However, this is like suede up here, which, you know, you just don't see that much with crocs. They're a women's size seven. I did not look up comps or anything, but um, they were cheap and I know I can sell them for at the very least 25. Although I think I could probably get a little bit more for them. There are a few little like stains on that little stretchy piece right here on that panel, but I think it's okay. All right, so moving on. This, okay, the one thing I hate about the sale is that they have it in this venue where, like, 
it, there's like kind of like a bar and like bands will play. There's like a stage. The lighting is awful. Like it's cool for live performances. It's horrible for a clothing sale because the lighting is awful. You can't really see um, what's going on. You can't see flaws very easily. And so I got this because I was like, I feel like I looked it over and it looks great. Um, and now I just found a flaw because this room that I'm in right now is beautifully lit. Like it'd be great to have a pop-up sale in here. I'll never do it, but... Oh, okay, I'll show you first what it is, why I got it, and then I'll show you the same. So it's Eileen Fisher. It's a petite medium. Um, this is like the newer Eileen Fisher tag, and I believe it's 100% silk, which is why I got it. It's in this kind of like, to be honest, a little bit of like an off-putting color. Yeah, it's 100% silk. It's in this like eggshell. <laughs> it's not white. It's not gray. It's not taupe. It's like a weird in-between color, but... What I just noticed is this stain. Do you see that? It's like a little yellowish, orangish stain right on the neck. We'll see what we can do. Other than that, it's in good condition, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah. Okay. I saw, like, a little black. Well, that might be a stain. Why do I, why do I buy white clothes? I just... Anyway, we'll see what we can do with that, but that's a little disappointing, but not surprising, I should say. All right. Ooh, I was so excited about this. Okay, so I did probably still pay a little too much for this, but I still think I'll do okay. So I've never sold this brand before. I've never found it. I've never seen it. And then it was there and I'm excited. So the brand is gal meets glam and i have heard that the resale value on this is going down a little bit um but i did pick this up because it's new with tags it's a size 12 petite which you know petite is petite and i know people have their feelings about it i actually sell petite stuff really well but it's a size 12 petite so it's a little bit bigger of a size and it's beautiful i feel like it's perfect for the season because people are shopping for like weddings and maybe someone needs to wear this as a bridesmaid's dress. I don't know, but it's brand new. It's gorgeous. I want to say, I don't know. It feels like it could be silk. It's probably just like polyester or something. It's just polyester. It's pandex. So it is not silk, but I don't know. I just thought it was beautiful. So I think when I looked up comps, I mean, I think they were at least in the hundred, maybe like no, I don't remember, but again, I think that my size was kind of unique. It is new with tags. I did pay up for this, if I remember correctly. I think I ended up paying 25 for this. Ugh, it has pockets. It's awesome. Um, but I think it'll be worth it. I think I'll make, at the very least, double my money, which when I'm dealing with like new with tags items, I am okay with uh, two times in my money. So excited to find that new brand. This is like the opposite of that in that this is like a no brand piece. I just liked how it looked. So the brand is Tanner. It says it's a size 10. It's not really a size 10, but I don't know. There was just something about this that like really spoke to me. I just thought it was really cute. So it has this really cool kind of like tie in the front or I think you could even tie it in the back, but it like just kind of wraps interestingly. Um, I don't know. It's got kind of a cool like origami look to it. It's really thin and lightweight. It's not lined. Um, I just thought the print was really fun and perfect for the season. It's like a midi length dress. Pretty sure, like 99% sure that this is a vintage piece, but I just thought it was really pretty. It is a size 10, but because like I said, I'm pretty sure it's vintage. I, um, I don't, uh, think that it's a true size 10 to today standards. And so I kind of want to like try it on myself and see if I can wear it. I'm also really confused because I'm looking for a tag that, you know, states what it's made out of and stuff like that. And what I'm seeing is a really interesting hem job. Like I did not notice this and it's, it was not well done because now that I look at it, when you look really closely, you can see the stitching that took place to hem the bottom of this dress to make it shorter, which is why it looks like it's a really good length for me. <laughs> but you can see like the bottom was actually this like lace trim, which would have been really pretty, but it was trimmed at some point. So I don't know. I think, like I said, I'm going to try it myself. And then if anything, I'll just sell it for style. Um, the belt is a little dirty. There are some like 
stains and stuff on the belt so I might see if my husband can stain treat that I don't know I just thought it was really pretty and I do remember paying basically nothing for it like it was really cheap so we'll see sometimes I pick up things according to style and most of the time it pays off and every once in a while it absolutely does not okay what are you oh I was so excited about this okay so I don't remember how much I paid for this I want to say it was around like seven to ten dollars the brand is M.M. Lafleur, which is a great brand. So expensive to buy retail. And it says plus two, so I feel like that's like a 2X. Um, it is definitely a plus size dress. It's not in perfect condition because, as you can see, there are just kind of some exterior, like little, just almost like food residue, which it'll be really easy for me to get off. Um... Yeah, it's, ugh, man, like I said, it's just so hard to find flaws when you're in that place. But it's basically like a faux wrap dress with navy and white stripes. It's got a collar. M.M. Lafleur is known for making really beautiful, simple, minimalist um, career pieces. And so their, their philosophy is that you don't need a lot of clothing in your closet to make a good capsule wardrobe to, you know, have enough clothes for your job as a, you know, office executive or whatever it is that you do, but you just need the right pieces and you need the kinds of pieces that are versatile that you can, you know, throw a blazer over a dress or you can, you know, wear those, you know, you can wear that blouse five ways or whatever it is, but they're just very much about making sure that, um, you don't have to have a lot of pieces, just a few great pieces and I think this is a great piece it has been worn obviously and there are you know the more I look at it there are just like little exterior things here and there um, but I think it's worth it to take a chance on this I'm looking for the tag because I'm trying to see if this is a hundred percent silk because you know thankfully with the dress being dark you don't see stains on the pits but I'm pretty sure like I can feel that the pits are not in great condition, if that makes sense. It's kind of gross. Okay. Oh, it's viscose and elastane hand wash. So, I mean, I think this is going to be worth a good hand wash, and it's totally fine. I'm willing to do it because I can probably sell this for at least $75, if not more. Um, so, super excited about that. Love that brand. Um, this is... Oh, another brand that I love. This is Jay McLaughlin. Now, this is not the Catalina knit that they're like well known for, but I don't know that I've ever sold a dress by them. It's not like I love the print on this dress. I think it's a little whatever, but it is very much in line with the Jay McLaughlin woman, so I think it'll do well. It's got a lot of great stretch, and actually, maybe this is that Catalina knit. I don't know. It's like a jersey knit for sure, this dress. So, um, yeah, I think it could do well. Hopefully sell for at the very least $50, if not more. Let's see. You guys, it's been so long since I've done a haul video. It's almost like I forgot how. Like, this feels very strange to me. Um, okay, this is Pure Jill. And, oh man, I can't tell you how much J. Jill I used to pass on. Because I was like, J. Jill? Like, it's such a boring, you know, mom mall brand but J. Jill does well and it sells for a decent amount this is a hundred percent linen dress it is in a size extra small it does desperately need a steam um, I believe it's like a midi length dress and it's got this cool crepey like layer over and it's in a size extra small which is not great because J. Jill really does do better in the larger sizes but listen hundred percent linen it's really cute and basic and perfect for the summer like I am tempted <laughs> to try this on and like keep it for myself like what is happening I'm just gonna put it in my pile and see what happens I don't know I think it's really cute okay um but if I were to sell it I would probably list it at like $35 maybe even higher this is Matilda Jane which I definitely have cooled down on picking up especially for um, women, but I think it was a really good price. And I, when it does sell, I think it'll sell for at least 25, 30, 35 dollars. It's just going to take a little bit to sell. So it's in this like orange plaid, but then it has this really pretty 
lace detail on the back. It's like a button-up shirt. It's got great weight to it. This is actually more of a fall piece, I would say, but um, I think it's really cute. And like I said, I'll list it for like $25, $35. So it was this pop-up sale last fall that I found my first Magnolia Pearl pieces. I believe I found three. And it was the first time that I found this brand. And this brand is called Just to Kill. And um, I was hoping that they would have more Magnolia Pearl or Just to Kill. I did find a few Just to Kill pieces. And I went once with my friend Chiwon and I made sure that she got at least one Just to Kill piece too. Um, so there were a handful. And what you do when you can sign is you're supposed to, you know, print off these little tags that you fill out and you price your item and you signify if you want it to go half off and if you're okay with donating it at the end to a local charity if it doesn't sell. Um, some people though really just have no idea how to price their stuff or they don't want to because maybe they don't have time or something like that. So they do offer a service at this consignment sale where you can just drop off and go and they will price items for you. They'll do the research to see how much things should be priced. Um, and I think you have to like choose for all of the items. Are they going to go half off and be donated? Um, you can't like pick and choose per piece. And so last year th when I was checking out and I was getting those Magnolia Pearl pieces and I was getting some Just to Kill, the ladies who run the sale, they were saying that um, the person who had donated that stuff, because it all came from one person, she was a drop and go person. She didn't really care how much things were priced and they were looking online to see how to price things and they were like, it would just when we look at how much some of these things cost, but like, look at the item itself. It's just so crazy. And I was like, I know. So this was priced pretty high. I believe this was priced at like 36 ish dollars or 40 something dollars, but I waited for half off day. Cause I assumed that people were not going to buy these. Um, because look like, I think they're cool. I just think it takes like a very specific person to be okay with dropping $36 or, you know, what is it like $18 for these at a consignment sale in a little small, not super rural, but like college town in the Midwest. I don't know that that person is here in our town, but when you put something like this online, you can list it for like a hundred dollars. And there is someone out there looking for exactly this who will pay that much, which is crazy. So um, it has a number one on the inside. Most dress to kill pieces are one size fits most, which is a lie, especially when it comes to pants and especially when the pants like, yes, it's an elastic band, but this is not going to stretch to fit like just everybody. So I wish they would just put regular sizes on their clothes, but they don't. I would call this an extra small or small, which obviously is going to limit my pool a little bit, but they're interesting. Yeah. So there's that. List those for at least $100. Okay. These I took a chance on as well. I looked up the brand. The brand actually was doing pretty well on platforms like Poshmark. The brand is Jada Gypsy. And these are crazy. And, you know, crazy sells sometimes. They are these very extreme bell bottom pants with like these mixed print panels and these are basically sheer you know there's like this plaid there's like a floral there's kind of like a paisley so this is kind of sheer the bottom is raw hem but it just goes out really big um i believe it's high-waisted it's got a lot of distressed detail at the top and here's what the back looks like so they have these priced for 56 dollars at the sale and obviously I waited till half off day because when I looked up comps, there were some jaded, or uh, what is this, jaded gypsy pieces. There were a few that I'd sold for like 125 or I don't know, like comps are a little all over the place, but some of them are really good. This is in a size small medium, um, made in LA. It's like a boutique in LA, it looks like. So they're the dream denim pants. That's the name of the style. I just thought they were really cool. And so I waited till half off day because I was like, I'm not going to pay $56 for them. There's no way. And when I got to this rack, um, they, someone was like looking at them and like kind of very seriously considering getting them. And thankfully she did not. So I swooped in and I was like, oh, can I just, can I just get that out of your way really quickly? Oh, it was so satisfying. So um, got those, very excited to try those. This 
is, what are you? Oh, okay. I don't get this brand super often just because I feel like it sits and sits for me. But this looked like the the newer label. It's Laundry by Shelly Seagal. And I just thought it was like a really pretty piece. Um, I don't know what size it is though. It doesn't have a size, which is fine. I'll just take measurements. But it's just like this very beautiful like wine colored sheath dress. And then it has this beautiful floral embroidery along the side, which is why I got it. I thought it'd be perfect for like summer weddings and stuff. I feel like you could even wear it to work. You could just throw like a blazer over it. Yeah, I don't typically pick up this dress, but we'll try it out. Hopefully I can list it for like at least $35. It was priced really well. You know, a lot of times when I go to these kinds of things, I think about how much things are priced at my local Goodwill. Um, dresses now are priced, I want to say at like 6 or $7. So knowing that that's about how much I would pay at my local Goodwill and that it was a good quality dress by a good um, brand, I was like, yeah, that, that makes sense. So this is the brand Talbot's. You guys know that Talbot's is one of my favorite brands to resell. It just does really well. It holds its value. And this is exactly the kind of piece I'm looking for when it comes to Talbot's. So this is in a larger size. It's in a size 12. And it has um, some great materials used to make it. I believe it's like a wool blend. And it's like a substantial piece. It's like a jacket, like an outerwear piece, which is obviously going to up the resale value. Um, it's fully lined and it's 70% wool, 30% viscose. So that's why I got it. I'll probably price it around like $50 and it'll sell pretty close to that. And it won't take too long. It might take a little bit longer right now just because it's not really the season for that sort of thing, but I think we'll still do okay. All right, this next piece is another soft surroundings piece. This is a size large. This, if I remember correctly, is a little intense. <laughs> it is a jumpsuit in like the most comfortable feeling fabric. It just feels so, it's like stretchy, it's soft. It feels amazing actually. Um, it's got this waistband here, like a nice thick waistband, size large. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but soft surroundings is really nice because if you look at the tag, they usually have a style number and you can just type in soft surroundings and then the style number. And what'll happen is you'll be able to find the listing on the soft surroundings website. So from there you can, you know, pull all the information about the piece. You can find stock photos just to get an idea of what it looks like. You can, um, see how much they had it priced for, the name of, you know, what that style is. So I don't know how to price it yet, but I'll have a really good idea once I look it up using that style name. Um, I love soft surroundings. I would imagine I could get at least 35-ish for that. I picked this up because I'm pretty sure I sold this dress before and I sold it for like close to $50. Now the resale value has probably dropped and I'll explain why. I think I sold this like three years ago when I first started reselling, but the brand is Banana Republic, but they often do collaborations or they used to do a lot of collaborations with different brands. And this is a collaboration that they did with Issa London Collection. Um, this is in a size 10. It is this brown and white swirly print dress. It has a v-neck and just kind of this like, I don't know what you like draping at the waist. Actually, I don't think I sold this exact dress a few years ago, but I sold one by this same collaboration and it did really, really well. Now, I don't, you know, want to assume that this collaboration between Banana Republic and East of London is still like the same highly sought after uh, collaboration that it was back then, but I still think I could hopefully pull at least 35 from this. Um, it's 100% rayon. Yeah, I just thought it was pretty and size 10, lots of things working for it. This is, oh, here's my receipt. This is a dress, dress, jumpsuit. Where is the top? What? What's happening? Okay, I, I think we figured it out, people. So this is free people. This is a size small. And it is like, yeah, like a polka dotty dress. It is a wrap dress. I, I'm pretty sure it's a, for a second. I thought maybe there were like shorts underneath. I don't think that there are. It's got really cute, like fluttery, ruffly sleeves. 
actually that's a lie it's like a sleeveless dress with this like ruffle layer over it is what it is um there's a tie at the waist it is definitely more of like a mini dress it's got the ruffles uh, you know where the v-neck is I just think it's really pretty. I thought it was really cute. And I think it was like $7. So I was like, sure. Hopefully it'll sell for at least $35, if not more. This is... Okay, this is another piece that I'm going to try on. Um, this is American Eagle. I think they had it priced really well, like $5 or something. It's a size small. It is, I believe, either 100% linen or a linen blend. And I'm now seeing a little bit of a stain on the bottom, which I'll have to take care of. Oh, good. The belt is there. I thought the belt was missing all of a sudden. Um, let's see. Okay, here's the tag. Yeah, it's 88% cotton and 12% linen, but I could feel the linen right away. But it's just a pantsuit in a size small. I thought it was really cute. I like the multicolor stripes, and I like how it's so springy. Um, and there is a belt to kind of cinch in the waist. So I'm going to try that for myself. I think it's really, really cute. I don't typically buy, you know, so much for myself when I go to these things, but they just have some really good stuff. Again, with dance goes, even though I swore I wasn't going to buy as many, there just were a good amount and they were priced really well. And they did pass my test of trying to bend them and see if there was any dry rot that would cause them to disintegrate on me like right away. But they seem to be in great shape. These are in a size 40. I just sold a pair of sandals like this yesterday, but by the brand Clark's. They had the same kind of like crisscross strap. They slide on. They had like a wedge. Um, those sold for 30. I think I can list these at least for like 40, um, especially given the fact that, oh, look what I just found. <laughs> so maybe I'll price these for like 15 or 25. <laughs> Looks like someone's dog got to this. Oh, that is so sad. I'm sure when they realize that these sold, the the previous owner will be like, yes, <laughs> like someone bought those. Ugh, that stinks. Okay, here's my second dress to kill piece. And this one, yeah, this one is one size fits all. Still a lie. But it is easier to claim that with tops, I would say. So the same tag, it says dress to kill. The dress to kill tag can look a lot of different ways, though. I've seen a few iterations of it. But um, it is kind of this uh, tie dye -y, like, uh, striped, not striped, but you know what I mean top it has a peplum bottom i think the peplum is maybe more on the back yeah so you can see it's got like a peplum roughly bottom um it is definitely baggy and like it hangs really nicely it's got good weight to it um this is something that i would use the word login look in the description title and in the description itself to explain the kind of like baggy layered look and aesthetic that this has um but yeah i have sold a piece very similar to this again for that like $75 range so I was definitely willing to pay they probably had this price for half off around like $12 so I was definitely willing to pay that for that piece this is another jaded gypsy piece so just going all in on the jaded gypsy I kind of feel like this probably came from the same person who sold the dress to kill pieces because it's just a really interesting aesthetic so this is I don't know if it's a dress or no, it can't be a dress. It's like a tunic. So it's like this denim -y tunic and it's got like an adjustable uh, feature on the straps. It's just really interesting. There's no size if I remember correctly. Okay. And there's pockets. Is it a dress? I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand, but I believe there was no tag with like the size and stuff on it and I think on the consignment tag she had said medium question mark for the size so I'll just take some measurements I'm always down to try new things and this was priced pretty well if I remember correctly I maybe paid like seven dollars for that I don't know um this I was excited about even though this brand I know people are like it does whatever like it's not that amazing but I was excited about it nonetheless. I have had decent luck with this brand. So I'm trying to get the label like untangled so you can see it better. Okay, so this is Trina 
Trina Turk. It might be like a diffusion line because I don't know that I've seen Trina, Trina Turk. Um, but it retailed for $138. It is, like I said, new with tags. And it is a dress. And I feel like this is a perfect dress for like vacations. It's great like resort wear. It's got this chevron print. It is a nice long maxi dress. Um, hoping I can list that for at least 75 if not more. And hope to do well with that. That was a size medium. I think I said that. And the last piece in here is a really interesting one. <laughs> so this is by Free People as well. Although the free people tag has gone missing. I think there should be like a little gold thing there that says free people, but I know this is free people. Um, it's a size medium and it's like this pink tie dye. I love this material. Like I don't know how to describe this material or what it's called, but it's this jumpsuit. Like how fun is that? It's got an elastic waist. It's got pockets on the back. It's got pockets on the front. It like kind of buttons all the way up the front and middle. I have not looked this up. I just got it on the half off day because I was like, this is awesome. There is a stain in case you were wondering. I'm just seeing it now. It looks like a pen stain. It's on one of the arms. So that's annoying, but it's actually not that big of a deal. It's not huge. And I, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping I can price it pretty high. Hopefully at least like, I don't know. I'll, I'll look up, I'll look up comps and then I'll let you know here. But I just thought this was so cool and I'm hoping it does well for me. So there is that. That is everything that I got at this pop-up consignment sale. Let me know what your favorite piece was and how sourcing has been for you. I'm still not trying to like go out and source a ton because I'm like looking at all the things that I already have in my home. So I definitely want to list this stuff as quickly as possible because it'll be good to mix in with a lot of the bread and butter pieces and like lower priced items that I have at home waiting to be list. It'll be good to have some of this into the mix. But in general, it was just fun to like go out and source again and pick up some new pieces that I was really excited about. So I hope you guys have been finding really great stuff. I hope things have been selling well for you. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!